Hello and welcome to today's video. Again, today we are going to be looking at uh, how to calculate the distance between two points, which is also known as the length of a line. So I'm going to show you how to do uh, one of these, just to remind you of what we were doing on Monday. And then I want you to do uh, the other four that are there and then take a photo and send them to me. So today is going to be a short video because I'm just going to show you how to do A. I want to see how you get on with B, C and D and E by yourselves. OK, so what we do is we look at the line A. We want to find the length of the line A. So what we do is we make A into a triangle and we do it by just drawing a line down here. And it doesn't have to be a dotted line. Uh, I'm just drawing a dotted line so it looks a, uh, a little bit different. So we make it into a right angle triangle, just like this. So it is a right angled triangle. Uh, that little square in the corner tells me it's a right angle triangle. Now, I want to count the amount of squares that it is going up and it is going across. So we have one, two, three, four. So the length of this side of the triangle from the top to the bottom is four. And how long is it across? How wide is it? We've got one, two, three, four, five. So it's five across. Five across. Brilliant. Now we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find out how long the line A is. So. What we do is we take uh, four and we square it and we add five, which is also squared, and that's equal to A. We don't know how long A is, okay? So we'll just say A squared. And remember, this is Pythagoras' theorem. So uh, we did this before on Monday. Uh, if you're stuck, you can go back over that video, but hopefully this will explain it again. So four squared is four multiplied by four, which is 16. Five squared is five multiplied by five, which is 25 equals a squared. We leave a squared just as it is, okay? So the next thing that we do is we add thir uh, 16 and we also add 25. So 16 plus 25 is 41 that equals a squared now i want uh to find out what a is okay i don't want to know what a squared is i want to know what a is so what we do is we square root both sides so the square root of 41 equals the square root of a squared now the square root this little tick sign that is the opposite of the little two it's the opposite of squared so they cancel each other out. That means that we're left with the square root of 41 equals A. And the good news is that this can be your answer. So you can leave it like that. So the length of the line A, so the length of the line A from here to here is the square root of 41. Now, if you were really eager, you could take out your calculator you could press the square root sign and then you could press 41. And then if you press equals, you would get 6.4. So that would be the, that would be the length as well. So this is also uh, an answer. You could have that as an answer. So this could be your answer, A and S, that can be your answer or that can be your answer. Uh, I think it's best just to leave it, leave it with this answer. But if you really want, you can give me the, um, the answer in decimals if you'd like to. So I'd like you to now um, get your copy books out and do B, C, D and E. And let me know if you've got any questions and I can send you an email and hopefully help you. Okay, good luck.